What's up? What What's up, sir? Patriots hat. <laughs> from Boston, I'm gonna stick with my team. Hey, no worries, trust yeah. me. That's the old style, too. Oh, yeah. You've been a fan for a while. Hey, um, I heard you talking with the fans over there about uh, John Jones. You said you kind of liked him there. Um, any thoughts on the on the newest developments in his situation? I, I don't know. I, I I don't know really what's going on with that. Oh, okay. You know, I, I try to, you know, that's none of my business. Gotcha. Um, I like him as a fighter. He's always treated me nice. Um, and back, you know, what I mean, same thing with me. Uh, is that he's, you know, certain choices. You know, it is what it is. It just it sucks, but I feel bad for him. You know, I do. Hey, can I get a hat? And my ring's in there too. In, oh, sure. I was done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you expressed a little bit of frustration about uh, not getting uh, not getting the next title shot, and you said that it seemed like fans were dictating who gets which fight. Does that sort of frustration manifest itself into motivation in this? Uh, yeah. You know what? Uh, it's out of my control. Okay, I'm, I, you know, uh, it's the, not the first time this has happened. Second time, sadly. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. You know, I, I'm, I still love doing what I do. Okay, I love doing what I do, and uh, fighting is something I, you know, like I said, I enjoy it. So if the fans weren't, happy, you know, they didn't want to see me, then it is what it is. You just sit there and go, okay, what do I got to do to make the fans want to see that? And 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 that's sort of where I'm molding my. Uh, my new stuff is to make it where I can win, but yet the fans are happy with what I'm doing. This is sort of the second time in a row we've seen you come to open workouts and really interact with the fans. I mean, is that just part of your, uh, you know, your plan going forward, or is that you being in Texas? What is the, it? The, the, the easiest part of my damn job. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, look, I get to do a two-minute workout. Instead of them complaining that I did a two-minute workout, they get 15 minutes of me. You know what I mean? And, and realistically, what, what do you think they'd rather see? Me hitting some pads, or would they rather see me interact with them? You know, so that's really where my head's at. Is that I, I want to get as much interaction with the time that I have with the fans. Definitely in this instance, you know, you got what a hundred people out there, and <laughs> you you answer those questions. Now they're going to go back and talk to ten people. They're going to talk to ten people, and, and so realistically, that's the you know that's why I say it's humbling that all these guys want to sit here. And, and, and get an autograph or get a picture. And that's why after we're done, I'm gonna go back and make sure I can finish the guys that I didn't get is because it's so easy to do that. And, 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 and to sit here, because one day I know it's gonna go. It's gonna disappear. And whenever it does, I, I, I can look back and say, I did everything I could to keep p people happy. We talked last week um, about this being the Big 12 rivalry, <laughs> sort of the rematch. You yeah. said you've moved on from it. Yeah. Tyron clearly hasn't. <laughs> any uh, any conversations with him about the weigh-in attire we discussed last week? Oh, yeah. No, I haven't talked to him. Yeah, I've only <laughs> seen him once. And, you know, the, the week of the fight, I really try to keep my distance. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not that I don't like the guy. I do. But it's starting to get into fight mode. You know, uh, competing mode, should I say. Uh, and move forward. Now, if they put us in the same exact room right now, then yeah, I would talk to them. You know, I'm not going to have that awkward silence that some people right. do. You know, I've been in fights that you're like, what's up? <laughs> yeah, and you're like, what? how you doing, man? And they're like, why are you talking to me? <laughs> We're fighting in three months. I'm like, yeah, but that's three months away from now. So, uh, but right now, yeah, I'm trying to sort of just keep my distance, get focused on what I need to do, make 170, 171. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the only bad thing right. about non-title fights. You gotta make one seven one. But uh, <clears throat> and then after the fight, if he wants to talk, have a beer, whatever, by all means, I'll do it. How about yourself after this fight? I mean, do you feel like you have to get more vocal? You said <laughs> just make it. I guess you think your performance can speak for itself, or do you feel like you have to get vocal and call for what you want? Well, I'm gonna call for what I want, but I'm not gonna trash talk it. I'm just gonna sit here and say. Why does Connick get a title shot? We both beat him. Instead, we're not both getting a title shot. You know what I mean? We both beat him, and he beat a top 12 guy. Okay? He was 12th. You know what I mean? I've been fighting top five guys for the last three years. And, 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 and people want to see knockouts. I get that. I do. But it's not going to happen every fight. You know, look at, look at uh, what's his face? Yeah, he knocked out, uh, uh, Robbie Lawler knocked out a... Uh, who is the guy named? Uh, Roy McDonald? No, not Roy McDonald. Before, uh, before the uh, Matt Brown fight, who did he Jay fight? Ellenberger. Jake Ellenberg. Okay, he, he fought Jake Ellenberg, top ten guy, 
but not a top five guy. Then you know he does get he does knock out uh, he does uh, knock out him, but he didn't knock out Brown either. He didn't knock me out two times. You know what I mean? So like it's just hard to get finishes. Definitely whenever you're fighting this caliber of guys every time, and everybody's scared of my hands. You know, whenever I start moving forward and I throw my hands, their hands go up quicker than I can get a punch in, right? So that's why I've reverted back to low kicks and getting my wrestling started. Because what's going to happen, sooner or later, whenever I first got in the UFC, they were scared of my wrestling. Okay? Now, sooner or later, somebody's going to get scared about the wrestling aspect because that's going to start winning me fights again, right? Then that's whenever I can go back to knocking people out again. Because right now, I don't want to waste energy whenever I go like this and they're like, you know what I mean? That's just wasted energy. But whenever you do that and they do this, look at that. That's all real estate, man. <laughs> Easy real estate. And, and, and sometimes I'm not, even, I'm not even looking for it. I throw a punch, I'm like, my body just goes, ugh. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm going for a takedown. What do you feel is the biggest challenge that Tyron Woodley presents as a fighter in, in this matchup? Uh, the way the the way Tyron the Tyron is, um, he's two different fighters. You know, in a lot of his fights, he's either a very aggressive fighter or he's very defensive fighter. So when we're going through this, going through our training camp, we sort of had to train for two different Tyrons because we don't know which one's going to show up. I have a feeling which one's going to show up. The one that's going to be very aggressive. So that's the one we train for first. Then we would throw in some rounds with him being very defensive, trying to lay traps, 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 and trying to move and stay out of those. Um, so I, it, you know, I'm really actually sort of grateful for this fight because it's really changed my striking. You know, there's some I, some of the things that I'm going to be doing in the octagon <clears throat> is really going to be different than what I have in the past. There's still going to be combination flows and stuff like that, but foot movement, angles, those kind of things, I think those are going to be really important for this fight. And you feel bottom line, knockout equals title shot? Uh, if I get a knockout and I don't get the damn title <laughs> shot, I'll be pissed. That's why I'll really be pissed. Um, but, you know, <laughs> win. Win. I, you know, fan, I, here's the thing. I'm still striking. You know, somebody was like, well, you know, are you going with that George sort of performance? I'm like, dude, I, I'm not jabbing a guy to death. You know what I mean? I'm throwing combinations. I'm, I'm looking like a kickboxer, and then all of a sudden I do takedowns. That's totally different than what he did, right? <clears throat> um, and so <clears throat> I keep the fans entertained because realistically, like I said, once the wrestling aspect gets thrown back into the mix, Man, the sky's the limit for me, and that's what I'm really believe. Because then I start becoming more of a true mixed martial artist, and then that's whenever people are going, okay, we can't get up from him. Like we saw that with the Brown fight. You know, they, they, my jujitsu's there, <coughs> so they're sitting there going, okay, so not only can he can he wrestle, but he also has jujitsu. Now you're sitting there going, okay, now I'm a th triple threat instead of just a double threat. All right, thanks, guys. That's it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Paul, thank you all. Thank you, sir.